Hey beautiful people, hola mi gente, what's up? Que bola, we're going to be doing a card of the day, a focus of intention for the next 24 to 48 hours as directed by spirit, universe, or whatever higher power you call upon. My job is to not push a belief system onto you. My job is to teach you how to believe in yourself and you connect whatever the fuck you want because that's none of my fucking business. With that being said, the Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademark copyrighted and registered with three different classifications with the United States Trademark and Patents Office. Any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse as guided by my legal team. So... With that being said, thank you for everybody who tuned in to the community reading this month and the new moon in Libra solar eclipse community ritual yesterday, um, on Sunday and this weekend. I appreciate y'all so much. So let's get into it. Um, on Wednesday, October 18th, if you guys are interested, I'm going to be teaching um, a class for my yearly program called Magic Manifestation. It's what we call a year in magic. We are in year two. And this week's class is going to be all be all about crystals so if you're interested in learning more about crystals and you're interested in um deities and spirits and energies that work with crystals or what they came from you are in store and if you like to drop in the class it's going to be 75 dollars for the class it's held on a zoom platform but don't worry if you can't make it you will get the recording so you're all good so if you're interested please let me know you can send us an email at the almighty pineapple.com link in bio mm. all right so guess what we're going to be doing so the card of the day is going to be coming from the halloween oracle deck i got this deck in salem last year out of all the gajillion decks that i saw in salem this was the only one that actually gravitated and caught my attention so what do we need for october 17th and remember this is not a reading our reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice Hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone's born with intuition and empathy, but never, well, not everyone listens to their intuition and empathy, as you can see the state of the world. So what do we need for today? What do we need for October 17th? What do we need? Jack-o'-lantern. Jack-o'-lantern is the card of the day, and it's, it means protection. I love this. Oh, I love this. Okay, jack of lantern So this deck has a little Halloween haiku. If you don't know what a haiku is, y'all need to get some, go get some education. I'm just kidding. Haiku is a small, short poem. So the poem goes, Oh, Jack, oh, Jack, let me carve my protection. Shine your fire outwards, evil rejection and reflection. So Halloween wouldn't be the same without the carving of pumpkins into scary jack-o'-lanterns, glowing menacingly from porches, dinner tables, and porches everywhere jacks actually have a rich history and a spiritual bent the original term for jack-o'-lantern was a will o the wisp and the, and it, it's old british term the will o the wisp was a small bundle of sticks used as a flame or torch the celts the irish and those living in the scottish highlands all carved winter vegetables not just part on pumpkins but also parsnips carrots and beets the time around so wayne aka halloween was of course when the fae and goblins were said to be roaming wild and so the lanterns were intended to be both scary scaring off the undesirables and to light the way in the dark today carving pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns has become an art in itself and a true icon of halloween intricate designs both scary and funny can be found in almost every home that celebrates the holiday both electric lights and candles now illuminate the inside of the lanterns know that you're protected and that you're capable of creating the life that you want and the universe supports you in this should jack shine his light upon you today Boundaries are important, so teach people how to treat us. And in drawing this card indicates that you may wish to renew the ones you have or establish some new ones. Oh, y'all know I love talking about some boundaries. Mm -mm -mm. First of all, jack o lanterns say that you're protected. So no matter what it is that you desire, no matter what kind of life that you want, you are willing and able to do so. You're willing. I know all of y'all are willing to create the life that you desire, but what's happening is you're letting your circumstances, you're letting people, you're letting your past, you're letting fear, you're letting anxiety, you're letting worry about even the future that's not even present yet stop you from creating the life that you desire. And also, 
when you're creating the life that you desire, you're going to have to enforce boundaries because not everyone's going to align with your vision, understand your heart, comprehend your thoughts, and that is okay. I can honestly say with a shadow of a doubt, I am a pro at cutting people off. I have fucking references. The reason why I cut people off is because certain people in my life could have been family, it has been, it could have been friends, it has been, it could have been previous previous people in my life, jobs, whatever, it has been, telling me that I'm not good enough or telling me that I won't make it and always shitting on my dreams and desires. Stop letting people talk to you any type of way when it comes to your vision, your calling, your heart, your destiny, your fate, your life, your soul. Because believe it or not, these visions and these callings and these dreams and these aspirations, they all come from inside of you, that energy, whether you call it a soul or your higher self or energy, whatever that is for you. But this jack o' lantern say you're protected in every step of the way and what happens to you is meant to happen to you for your highest good and i understand that sometimes we don't understand that because there's a lot of shit that's been happening to me lately and i don't understand it but i know that everything does happen for a reason and i may not have the understanding the comprehension or the right emotion to deal with what i'm going through right now but i know it will be revealed to me eventually because my faith is my force and sometimes you have to forget that out of everything that you believe in, you have to believe in yourself the most. Do you hear me? A lot of y'all don't believe in yourselves. A lot of y'all believe in celebrities and a lot of shit that you see on TikTok or on YouTube or on Instagram or on Twitter. But y'all won't believe in yourself. Y'all believe in these fucking things that people sell you all the time, but you won't believe in yourself. How does that work? If you don't believe in yourself, how does anything else in your life come to fruition? You have to have faith. And I'm not talking about faith in a higher power, but faith in yourself. You're the one stuck with yourself for the rest of your life. You may have done some fucked up shit and you, made, and you probably have made many, 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 many mistakes just like me. Just like every other fucking human being in this planet. We have all made mistakes. None of us are perfect. So stop beating yourself up. Stop comparing yourself to other people's goals, other people's visions, other what other people got on social media or in real life or whatever. Fuck what they got. What are you going to do to change your life? You have the same 24 hours in the day, just like a celebrity, just like a leader, just like me, just like anybody else that you admire. You have the same 24 hours in the day. What are you going to do to use it? And what are you going to do to change your life? Because you have to start establishing boundaries too. Once you start changing your life and start going for your goals and not listening to anybody else's bullshit or negative energy about what is what you feel is right for you, you're going to have to start establishing boundaries. And people don't like when you establish boundaries because they get bent out of shape. Like, oh, why are you acting like this? I'm acting like this because I need to make sure my boundaries protect me at all costs. And guess what? The ones that give you slack and the ones that make you feel guilty for having a boundary are the ones who benefit that you didn't have one in the first place. Learn how to say no to them and say yes to you. No is going to be your best friend. No is a boundary. So start using those words. No, thank you. No, no quiero. Nah, mm, nope. Mm -mm, nothing no thank you now that nathan nothing whatever i don't care what word you use but no has to be the start of your boundaries because again if you want this protection in your life which you already are protected whether you believe it or not but if you want that additional protection in your life you have to start saying no to people who benefit from you when you don't even realize it stop letting people take advantage of you i hope that helps i hope this puts some things in perspective and i hope it made you feel better if you feel like you need some additional help, I would love to work with you. But as always, please follow your intuition when working with any spiritual advisor, even if that means you do not work with me. I have some availability for October and November. And if you're not interested in any of my services, I do have a plethora of a beautiful online botanica that me and my family create and curate at theallmightypineapple.com. Bye.